Hi, I'm Don Dawson. Welcome to our program. Today, we'll raise some questions, latch on to some answers, and lower the boom on accidents. We lift and move things every day. We can handle most objects by ourselves without the use of machines. But sometimes arm strength just isn't enough. Often it takes more power to get the big jobs done. That's why we use cranes. You might find one type of crane right in your own backyard. Hang a rope over a tree limb and you can make the simplest kind of crane, a pulley. But working with industrial cranes requires a lot more knowledge and much more attention than a pulley does. Because of the hazards associated with working with cranes, OSHA has had crane safety regulations in force for some time. But until recently, they hadn't been changed for almost 40 years. However, with the crane-related accidents in the construction industry increasing rapidly, in August of 2010, OSHA updated a number of provisions in the construction portions of the regulations to be more in tune with today's sophisticated equipment and operating environments. The crane regulations cover a number of areas, including ground conditions, assembly and disassembly, work around power lines, and inspections. They also address signaling, fall protection, work area control, operator certification, qualifications for signal persons and maintenance personnel, and training. <laughs> 